Getting camera ready, you know. Yeah. <coughs> Makeup, hair. Check, 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 check. All right, what are we doing today, Dana? Okay, today we are going to try to finish the bathroom. So far, we've put in the studying. So we have walls. We built a toilet. Crazy, I know. So basically, it's just a box, <laughs> but a very sturdy one that was harder than it looks to build. And then Lou bought this cool toilet seat and can't believe I'm talking about this, but basically it se separates urine from the other stuff. I think so that's how it works. So basically this is a big hole and that is for your pee. And they have instructions here for boys. You have to, you can't stand in pee. So basically what we need to do is so that's that. We're gonna put in tarp against all the walls just to like put one extra layer of protection but then we're gonna like, all you do is you put in trash bags like heavy duty trash bags and then number twos go in there with sawdust or something coconut shaving stuff. like fiber stuff Lou did research and apparently it's not gonna smell and it's gonna be amazing but yes this is, we'll make a follow up video. <laughs> this is just van life for you. And then you pee into this, and then we have to put a tube there, and that's going to go into this jug. Sorry, liter tank. it's very small in here. That's the jug. And then you have a spray bottle with like vinegar. So after you pee, you spray it with vinegar, and then hopefully, apparently, that also makes it clean and not smelly. And we had a door in here. But the door doesn't work very well because there's no rollers, because there's no room for rollers, so a sliding glass door without tracks and rolling. Who knew? It doesn't work. Um, but oh, we... Oh gosh, your hair. Let me fix that. Okay. Onward. It's very frizzy because we don't have time for anything here. And... Oh yeah, so we've decided instead we bought this, like, very thick blackout curtain. That's pretty. So we're going to have a curtain for a <laughs> And so we have to figure out how to put that in, but that's not a problem for today, is it? Um, no, that's not a today problem. Yeah. That's a after we I feel like after we paint and everything, then we'll put that in. <clears throat> but today we are going to install this toilet paper roll. I've easy never, win. It's an easy one, yeah. Except for the fact that I've never used these things before. So I, I think what you do is you just drill a hole, then you put this in there, and then I checked this then just screws in by hand and then you just tuck it in there so it's pretty ingenious so it goes like that and then you just go like that great so and we? we're connecting the pipe yeah and a lot of other things okay i think this is good i'm just gonna try to mark it don't go like super super deep okay yeah you'd be spending your Sundays, right? A little different, but honestly, you can't only be here for the good things. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're all around team player. Try. I try. Oh. Good job. Also, if she sells the house and then Alfie needs a home, mm -hmm. what do you think we should do? Uh, good job. Thanks. There you go. I guess that's how you apply those guys. I feel like ideally you would have a drill that matches the size of them. Yeah. But, you know. No, no, it's got to go all the way in. Like that. Yeah. Oh, like that? Yeah. But that might be too hard to get that in. No, it's already like not close enough. Really? You tried? It's like a little wobbly. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Uh 
How's that? Ah, uh, I crushed it. Did you? Come check it out. Oh, you're filming? Yeah, I'm filming. I hold the bar hold. Footage. Rivetating YouTube content. Riveting. Rivetating. That's not a word. Riveting. It's so loose. Well, why don't we just glue it? Yeah, the system is dumb. <laughs> well, it was like five dollars. It wasn't five dollars. No? It was like ten dollars. Why? Well, maybe they're not built for slanted walls. Yeah, we'll fix it. All right, Dana stuck a little piece of wood under there, and now it's sturdy. Fixed. Install. Woo! Done. All right, let's get the tarp in there. Oh, okay, cool. I'll get it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Best unboxing ever. You could see it the whole time. Okay. As you can tell, we're going a little crazy in the van. Theme. It's not the most fun job, but it's just like annoying the heads. It's like hard to make it look nice, but it doesn't really matter because you'll literally never see it. Yeah, I think it looks like a very beautiful toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dana just finished putting in the tarp. Look at that. What do you think? It's like a black hole. <laughs> Let me crank the ISO so you can see what it looks like. Wow! Pretty cool, right? Yeah, looks really good, babe. Thanks. The glue is like kind of weird, but I think it will set within the next 20 minutes and we can reapply if we need it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hope it works. And our favorite companion. Alright, so the last step is just to attach a hose onto there into our 20 liter jug. Do we have that? And we have a hose down here. Now, it's a bit great. Wow. What about that? Looks pretty amazing. You did it. Whew. All right, the bathroom is done, right? Other than the floor and cutting the hole in the shelving thing. Yeah, but I mean, the toilet is functional. The toilet is weird. Well, no, I need the trash bag. <laughs> Don't forget to Don't get it. carried away, Lou. You can take a look at this pipe and see if you want to do something different. No, I think it looks really good. I mean, you want it to be as short as possible so that there's no, like... Yeah, and it's like, this is not coming off. And how hard is it to get it out of the other thing? You hold this, you like that. Nice. I think so it's, it's done. it's not hard at all. I think it is done. Ugh. We built a bathroom. We built a bathroom without a door. <laughs> <laughs> door coming soon. Yeah. Well, door 2.0. I'm proud of us. Me too. We finished a gas canister today mm -hmm. and finished the bathroom. And now, plumbing. Plumbing. Bum, 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 bum. on or the latches until everything is painted but our two main big storage areas minus the bed are good to go we got a lot of space up there most of which is hard to reach but this part will be good and this is like a nice little cubby where Dana's gonna put her clothes so yeah 
the next step, we are going to put a little door in here for a little bathroom cabinet. So it's Sunday night. I think it's almost eight o'clock. We've already done a lot today. We finished the bathroom. We put in, finished the gas tank. Um. And now we are going to try to sort all of our pl plumbing situation. So we have two things that are key components. This is our water pump. It is the Aqua 8 Quiet Water Pump. By Fiamma, I think. Yeah, made in Italy. And this is our accumulator. We read on Van Dog Traveler. If you're building a van, you should check them out. He said you should get one of these. Technically our pump doesn't need it though. I just read the manual. Okay, well, better safe than not safe. Then we have some hoses. They had red and blue hoses. One for hot water, one for cold water. Just so you knew, but we don't even have hot water, so it doesn't really matter. Other hoses, more hoses. Lots of things, connecting hoses, and this huge water tank. Which we just decided to mount this way. Yeah. We thought we were going to mount it this way, like front to back, which would be better for like, if we're turning or something like that, then the water doesn't slosh and throw us off the road. But, you know, there's not much space for storage around here. And when we switched it, Lou actually switched it this way. When I was up making lunch and I came down, I was like, wow, this makes a lot more sense because then we can have our whole kitchen pantry in the front and then major van storage in the back and it just takes up way less room so hopefully that is going to work for us. First step, let's connect our water tank to the refill nozzle. Err. Can you cut this pipe with scissors? I cut it last time with the machine. Uh, uh. All right. Okay. Here you go. Thank you, Treja. It's annoying that this is so rigid. Yeah, but that top part can bend. Yeah. Go, Dana, go. Got it. You got it? Yep. Right. That's like pretty legit. It's like almost sealed, babe. Yeah, we'll just put some sealant, I think, on there. Great. Okay. Put the cap on, and our water tank is in. Well, we have to screw it down, don't we? Yeah. But for today, it's in. Yeah. Okay. Come around this way. Hi, Alvi. So now we are in the kitchen. First, let me put in our bottom of our sink. Mm -hmm. What's this called? Do Strain? You I don't know. Screw this back in? No. It just automatically does it, I think, a little bit. You have to unscrew it. Hey! Alright. So, that's like that. And like that. Okay, so now we are going to drill a hole through the bottom of the floor, through the metal, and then connect the end of this tube to a tank that's mounted underneath the van that was here from before, and that will be where we store our gray water, which will just be like dirty dish water. All right, I'm gonna climb under the van and see where the best place to drill a hole through our beautiful van would be. Okay, cool. Alfie, what do you think? What's he doing? Wow, you're really under there. Cool. What's going on, babe? So, we realized we shouldn't put it anywhere super hot, like by the exhaust or anything. So we're just gonna drill through the hole that they already made last time that we had like covered up. So we don't have to go through the metal or anything. Uh, cool. Yeah. Look at 
<laughs> Great job. <sighs> this old pipe is very dirty. You got it? What? You get it out? Yeah. I'm getting it. This is our faucet. The wires go down there. So cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. It collapses. <laughs> Ooh. All set. All set. Yeah. Look at that. Very nice. And the cool thing is that it goes down. So you can close the top. And now you have a cutting board. Any luck or you doing? Yeah, it's I mean it's quite snug. Oh, but if you pull it, it will come off. That's not good. But we have straps to like tighten it. Hold on. Hose clamps, schlang, lemon. Aus Deutschland. Ready? Mm -hmm. You just want the rubber to get a little soft. Probably good, right? Oh, that works so like a charm. Cool. Alright, now you do the Good hose clamp. Hose clamp. Cool, it's on there. Great. When you pull it, it does not come off. Good sign, right? Mm -hmm. And so now this is going to run over there, right? Uh-huh. And we're going to be building like an elevated floor to cover all this stuff. Yeah. I feel like I'm wrestling a snake. So then we'll cut this. Uh huh. Right? Yep. Okay, so we made a bunch of progress. We've got this hooked up. We've got holes in the floor. We've got all of our parts. I was able to switch this out, which looks easy, but it was actually a little bit complicated. We've got sink pipes, but it's a little bit crazy and it's getting dark. And we're going to call it. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right. After a good night's sleep, we realized that mounting all of our stuff over there wasn't the best use of space for our build. So we're going to be mounting it directly under the sink where it's easier to get to if something breaks or leaks and everything will just be mounted vertically there, including our water pump, our accumulator. We got this really cool fancy water filter and yeah, we just got to put some plywood in there and then start mounting stuff. Here we go. All right, just wanted to get a little before shot. We're gonna put in a raised floor here um, so that the pipes can run under that and the electrical wires and the pipe from the gas to the cooker. Just got the floor supports in. Um, the pipes are gonna run under these or through them. We'll just cut out little holes. And then we're gonna put some nice floorboards on top in the one tiny area where they'd be standing, and then plywood in the other areas. All right, what's going on, Dina? Okay, so we are getting around to finishing the plumbing right now, um, but I wanted to say that we got this really cool system. It's called an Acuva Eco, and backstory, if you haven't been with us for a while, Lou has arthritis, and so uh, I guess over a year ago we started really like focusing on how lifestyle and food and stuff was affecting the inflammation in his body, and one of the things that was most important, well not most, one of the huge things is like all the things that are in your water can really bring inflammation into your body like chlorine and I don't know all this bad stuff, arsenic and crazy stuff. Lead. Lead, but bacteria too and 
um, I realized that we really needed a good water filtration system. So when we were in Berlin, I got us this thing called a Berkey. It worked great, but it's really big and you have to replace the filters quite often, which was really annoying for us because we don't have a shipping address anymore and we didn't have space for it. So then I started looking into other options and that's when I found these guys. Um, this is really cool. It's like a LED UV technology. And so this has little LED lights in it and it zaps the water and it gets rid of all the bacteria and parasites and stuff like that that could be in your water. And this is even more important when you're in a van because you're getting water from who knows where, like gas stations or I don't know if we're going to go to campsites or things like that, but that's where a lot of people fill up. And so you need to, you don't have like a city water source that's been treated or anything. Um, and so it's really important to have some sort of filtration system. And then the other thing is that when you have water just sitting in a stagnant tank in your van, like it, things can grow in it if the tank isn't clean. And so that means that a lot of people who actually live in their vans or go during RV trips and things like that actually just use bottled water, which is not an option for us. We don't want that much plastic and it's just crazy. Like why would you carry water when you are bringing water around with you? So this seemed like a really good system. It's very small and they sent us one for free. So thank you, Akiva. You guys are awesome. And now we're going to install that along with finishing the rest of the plumbing. <laughs> That's a tip we learned from the plumbing store. Chaos. We got Spanish pipes, we got Canadian pipes. We got some German things. I don't know. This is an international plumbing system. <laughs> which basically just means shove stuff together. So many converters. Convert, convert, convert. The lighter trick is so helpful. Mm -hmm. That was a game changer. All right. Well done. That is beautiful. That is some medium quality <laughs> craftsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're honest around here, folks. That's good, that's good. It's like a Chinese finger trap thing. Yeah. Good seal. Yeah. There we go. Accumulator is in. That's it? Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. So if the hardware store wasn't an hour away down a mountain, then we would probably fix this with the proper piece, but it is, so we're not going to do that right now. It looks cool. It looks cool. Cool. Babe, you're like a tattoo model. <laughs> it just happened so quickly, too.
Ta da! Good job, babe. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We went down the mountain and we got this piece and this piece. And we are going to replace the one that is wrong in there and add the one that we lost and hopefully finish the plumbing. Here we go. Oh! Don't lose it. <laughs> Don't lose it. You're very cute in the morning. I'm a little tired today. Yeah. Cambridge didn't help. No. Oh, it tasted yummy though. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. I love you. Love you too. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Fix that mess now. Whew, let's do it. This will be easy though. After trying to battle electrical, I'm like, oh, plumbing? That's where we're at. Yeah, plumbing is easy. Right? Yeah. All you have to do is shove the pieces that don't fit together and it works. <laughs> yeah. They're like, just gonna melt them and make them fit. Yeah. Electrical, you do it wrong, you die. Nice. Our new piece. Only took an hour long trip down the mountain for that little guy. Oh, goodness. Okay, so now I just want to make sure I cut this the correct length. You think to like there? Yeah, maybe a tiny bit more. Like here? Yeah, even less. Yeah. Okay. You can always take a tiny bit off. Yeah. Moment of truth, you like that? Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Does that look good? So much better. Yeah. <laughs> that was a crazy circle we had before. Yeah. All for one little piece. Nice and tight. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Our new clean system. Doesn't look as cool as the other way, but it's much better. Yeah. All right, we are just putting some turnabon tape on the gray water line because we ran out of... These things don't fit. The other clips don't fit, but this tape is like ridiculously strong. So I think it's at least as good. Yeah, it looks great. So our gray water flows down there, through there, and into that tank, which was left over from the last build, which is like one of the few convenient parts so far of buying a really old van, is they have a tank mounted on the bottom. So, first win. So one, then you go like this, and then one, bit tighter with a wrench. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hoo -hoo. Then you Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. Finish your fingers again. Oh. <laughs> so once it goes in there, it can't come out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in there. Okay. I really want to push it all the way in. It really can't go anymore. Try pulling it out. No. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so now... We did the water flow the wrong way, though. Naughty. <laughs> so... There we go. Easy as that. Wow. 
That's cool. Sweet. Now it's all neat and tidy. Uh -huh. Dun, ba -da -dun. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I love it. And then you tighten that. Okay, so for our water system, we have it all starting from a 110 liter tank in the back. And then that leads through these clear pipes into our water pump. Then that goes to our accumulator. And then that goes from the splitter to the carbon filter around. Then this is our machine called an Acuva Eco, which the Acuva team was kind enough to send us, so thank you guys. And that takes care of the parasites or bacteria or other things that are in the water. And so we're really lucky to have this system because it means that we will always be drinking high quality water, even if the water that we're getting maybe at like gas stations or wherever we can find isn't the best quality. We're hoping that this system allows us to have clean drinking and cooking water. So, thank you, Akiva. Yeah, and so we did do plumbing before we did electrical. We're learning slowly. And the plumbing, all these appliances need to be wired up. So when we get our electrical stuff done, hopefully we'll wire these up, turn on the faucets, and there will be no leaks. And have some delicious drinking water. Yeah. Cheers to that. Fingers crossed.